Hello. I welcome you all to this video wherein I'm going to discuss about the income tax calculations. Uh, as a subject of uh, commercial arithmetic, so here the calculations uh, will be made about the uh, income tax rate which is given in the problem. And let us understand few points about the theory and then let us solve some problems also. And uh, my dear students, I am Dr. Pradhyam Mattihalli, who is working in government first grade college, Dharwad, Karnataka. Here, income tax. Um, regarding the tax, its meaning, types of tax, etc., I have given full information in my earlier video which is titled as rates and tax. So please go through that video so that you can understand this video in a better manner. Income tax is levied on the annual income of individual or the profit of a firm or a company. So just like the individuals, even the companies, business houses, firms have to give income tax when it is incurring the income. The rate of income tax are determined by the central government according to the budget envisaged for the ensuring year. That means every year in its budget, central government decides about the rates of tax. Depending upon that rate, the calculations of income tax will be made. Here, this tax is payable during the current year on the basis of the total income earned during the previous year. For example, 2020-21 is the calculating year, which is called as current year. So income is considered, which is earned during earlier period, that is, 2019 and 20. So 2019 and 20 is called as previous year. The income of that period will be considered and the calculation will be done in 2020-21. That is called as current year. I hope you have understood with what is called current year and what is previous year. Statement of income is called return. It is in prescribed form furnished by assessee whose annual income exceeds certain amount. That means up to certain amount tax will not be levied. That is called as the income will be exempted from tax. After that particular ceiling limit, tax will be calculated. So, my dear students, now theoretical background is explained and let us start the calculation of income tax. Let us take some problems, let us understand it, then let us solve those problems. A man whose taxable income is rupees 14,000 pays an income tax at 15% on income exceeding rupees 8,000 and a surcharge of 10% on income tax is payable. Find the amount of tax paid by him. Okay, friends, let us first understand the problem. Here, what is the taxable income of the man? That is 14,000. How the tax is to be calculated? It should be calculated at 15%. But on the income which exceeds rupees 8,000, up to 8,000, there is no tax. So total income is 14,000. You have to deduct 8,000, which is exempted from tax. 14,000 minus 8,000. Then what is left out? What is the exceeding income? So that should be taxable. For that, you have to calculate the tax at 15%. 
and on the amount of tax calculated, you have to calculate 10% surcharge. That is the tax on tax. That should be calculated not on the income, but on the tax. So let us start with the solution. Taxable income is 14,000. As you know very well, it is given in the problem. And tax is to be levied at a 15% on the income which exceeds 8,000, that is 14,000 minus 8,000, which is nothing but 6,000. So tax is to be calculated on 6,000, not 14,000. So 6,000 into 15%, that is 900. Now, 900 is the tax. On this tax, we have to calculate the surcharge, that is 10% on the income tax. That is 10% on the 900. It is nothing but 90. So total tax means 900 plus 90 surcharge. Totally, he has to pay 990. Rupees 990. Okay, fine. Friends, let us solve one more problem now. A man's income increases by rupees 1,200. But the rate of tax being reduced from 15% to 12%. He pays now the same amount of tax as before. Find his income before and after the increase if rupees 8,000 of his income is exempted from tax in both the cases. See here, there are the examples of two years here. Okay, In earlier period, earlier year, that is last year, the income was something. And now it is increased by rupees 1,200. It is increased, but at the same time, the rate of tax is decreased, that is reduced. So last year it was 15,000, this year it is 12,000. So income is increased, rate of tax is decreased. Therefore, what happened? Total amount of tax, what you were giving last year, it is the same what you are paying this year. So earlier years or original years in income tax is equal to current years income tax both in both the years taxes are same income is different rate of tax is also different and uh, rupees 8000 is exempted even the last year and also this year so friends how to start with it first let us analyze the problem okay so last year, what we were doing, 15% of the original taxable income, original means last year's, okay? Original taxable income was 15%. This year, 12%. So 12% of present taxable income. I am calling last year's is original taxable income. And this year, I am calling as present taxable income. It was 15% last year. It is 12% this year. Both are same. So equals to, we are putting this equation like this, okay? So or present taxable income means what it is compared to original income. Compared to original income, present income is 1,200 increase is there. So original income, plus 1,200. So 12% of present taxable income is nothing but 12% of original income plus 12% of 1,200. That is the increase. Pre uh, original income plus increased income, totally togetherly called as present income. So present income is written in different form. Present income is equal to Original income plus 1,200. So 12% of original income plus 12% of 1,200. So here it is divided. It is split into two, isn't it? Now, equation, just look at the equation mark. That is equals to, be, uh, before that, 15% of the original income. After this equals to, what is there? 12% of original income. So bo in both the side, original income, original income. Take to other side, that is 15% of original income minus 12% of original income. Isn't it? If you take it to the other side of the equals 
equal sign it will it becomes like it becomes minus that is 15% of original income minus 12% of original income is equal to 12% of 1200 that is 15% minus 12% that is 3% 3 3% of the original income is equal to 12% of 1200 calculate it 12% of 1200 it is nothing but 144 now 3% of original income is nothing but 144 so what is original income? Bring that 3% to this side. Okay. Then it becomes original income is nothing but 144 divided by 3% or into 100 divided by 3. 144 divided by 3% is nothing but 4,800. That is original taxable income. But uh, the saying is that 8,000 is exempted from tax. So we have to add it. It is taxable. 4,800 is taxable income. Therefore, we should add the 8,000 to it. 4,800 plus 8,000. So total income was 12,800. 8,000 was exempted. So we paid the tax on 4,800. Got it? And how about present year? So in present year, 1,200 is added to the original income that is 12,800 plus 1,200. So totally it is 14,000 is the present income. I hope you have understood how it is being solved. Okay. Similarly, let us solve some more problems, similar problems like uh, find the income of a person if he pays a total tax of 15,000 at a rate of 18% on the total income and 20% on income exceeding 20,000. Okay. See, what is given in the problem? We have to calculate the income. Okay. He pays the total tax. How much? 15,000. It is the tax. Okay. What is the rate of tax? That is 18% on the total income and 20% on the income exceeding 20,000. If the income exceeds 20,000, then he has to pay 20%. Then if the income, let us assume that his income is only 20,000. Then what would be the tax? That is 18% only. When it exceeds the 20,000, then only he has to pay additional tax, isn't it? Now it is only 18% if it is lesser than or equals to 20,000. So 20,000 into 18%, that is 3,600. Is he paying 3,600? No, he is paying how much? 15,000. That means it is more than 3,600. How much more? That is 15,000 minus 3,600. How much more? That is 11,400 more. Why it is more? Because he is his income exceeds 20,000. So only it is more than 11,400, isn't it? If it exceeds 20,000, he has to pay additional tax of 20%, original tax rate 18%, togetherly 18% plus 20%, that is 38% he has to pay. So for 11,400, he is paying at the rate of 38%. If he is paying 38 rupees, his income would be 100. 38% means what? For 100, 38, isn't it? If he is paying 38, income would be 100. Now he is paying 11,400. So how much should be the income? If the tax is 38, income would be 100. Now the tax is 11,400. So what is the income? 11,400 into 100 divided by 38. So it is 30,000. I hope you have understood what does it mean? Okay. And uh, a man's income increases by 1,500. But due to the reduction in the rate of income tax from 20% to 18%, the amount of tax, amount payable as tax remains the same. Find his income in both years if both if both rupees eight thousand of the income is exempted from tax in each of the 
two years. So in earlier year, a rate of income tax was 20%. And in this current year, it is 18%. And there is the increase in the income that is 1,500 rupees. So just now we have solved one problem like this. Uh, 8,000 is exempted. So let us consider 20% of original income. In both the years, tax is same. Tax amount, amount payable as tax is same. So last year's we are treating it as original income. That is 20% of the original income is equal to 18% of current income. How do you define the current income? That is the original income plus 1,500, isn't it? So 20% of the original income is nothing but 18% of the original income plus 18% of 1,500. Then what is 18,000? 18% 18 of 1,500, it is 270. So 20% of original income minus 18% of original income is nothing but 2% of original income. Therefore, now 2% of original income is equal to 270. Then what is original income? 2% comes to this side. 270 divided by 2%. So 270 divided by 0 0.02. Now original income is 13,500. But 8,000 is exempted from tax. So we should add it. Because 13,500 is the taxable income. We should add the exempted income. Then we will get the total income. Total income is 13,500 plus 8,000. That is 21,500. So this year, current, current year's income can be calculated because this year, 1,500 increases there. So 20, uh, the, you know, so 21,500 plus 1,500 is the current year's income. This is nothing but 23,000. I hope you have understood how it is being solved. Okay, same problem. A man's income here, 1,500 early in earlier problem, there was the increase and in this problem, it is decrease. Decreases by 1,500, but on account of an increase in the rate of income tax from 16% to 18%. Last year, it was 16%. This year, it is 18%. So he pays the same amount as before. Find his present income if rupees 8,000 of the income is exempted from tax in each case. So similar problem. So let us solve it like 16% of original income is nothing but the 18% of present income. So how can you define present income? That is 18% of the original income plus minus because it is decreased, you know. So we have to take minus here minus 18% of the 1,500 because 1,500 is decreased, okay? If it is increased, we would do plus. Here it is decreased, so we are doing minus. Here, 18% of uh, 1,500 we have to make. It is nothing but this 16% uh, of the original income should bring to this side. And minus 18% of 1,500 should be taken to the other side. Then this minus becomes plus there. And 18% uh, um, of original income minus 16% of original income is nothing but 2% of the original income. So what is 18% of 1,500? It is 270. 2% of the original income is nothing but 270. Then you just think of it. Original income is nothing but 270 divided by 2%, that is 0 0.02. So we have calculated it as 13,500. And here it is also 8,000 is exempted. So we are adding it to total income. Original income means last year income is 21,500. This year, 1,500 is decreased. So we should deduct, okay? Here present income means 1,500 decreased. So 21,500 minus 1,500. So current year or present year's income is 20,000. Okay, friends. A man's income increases by rupees 2,000. Here again increases there. And the rate of income tax is also raised. So in earlier problems, we used to like this. Income increases, but the rate of tax decreases. But here in this problem, 
both are increased income is also increased and the rate of tax is also raised from 16% to 18% so tax amount is not same it is not equal if he now pays rupees 540 more find his original income taking into account an amount of rupees 8000 of the income exempted from tax in each case okay friends let us understand the problem now here 16% of original income okay it earlier the tax rate was 16% so 16% of the original income 540 should be added why because the income tax is more now okay 18% of present income means last year's tax plus 540 because it is 540 more so 540 should be added to the last year's or original income tax that is 16% of original income what tax comes we should add 540 then current year's tax will be arrived that is 18% of present income so 18% of original income means what 18% of present income means what 18% of present income is nothing but 18% of the original income plus 18% of the increased amount that is 2000 okay so here once again we have to think of this uh, uh, 18% of the original income and 16% should bring there 16% of original income if you take it to the other side of the equal sign it becomes minus so 18% of original income minus 16% of original income that is 2% difference 18% minus 16% so 2% of the original income but here what happens you know 18% of 2000 means 360 but 540 is there you have to take this 360 to the other side of the equal sign then it becomes 540 minus 360 therefore 540 minus 360 is nothing but 180 and 2% of the original income is equal to 180 then original income is 180 divided by 2% 180 divided by 2% means 0.02 so that is 9000 180 divided by 2% means it is 9000 we have to add this exempted amount 8000 to the original income then uh, taxable income 9000 and exempted income 8000 total income is 17000 so this year present year 2000 rupee increase is there that is 17000 plus 2000 that is nothing but 19000 is the present income i hope you have understood how the problem is being solved and my dear students please go through the video once again and solve the problems once again and try to solve it on your own so that you can understand them better and in my next videos i am going to discuss about the insurance and also present worth and discount and some more aspects and in my earlier videos i have discussed about the partnership in three videos i have solved problems of partnership chapter so i request you all to go through the videos and don't forget to give me the feedback about the improvement and come let us understand the problems together let us solve them let us appreciate them and knowledge is a treasure uh, which will be there with us forever and ever and ever Okay take care